Hey guys, Black Magic Design has a new update for DaVinci Resolve 19, which is in beta right now. So the version 19 is beta version four. So version 19 is not out of beta yet, and it is the fourth iteration of that beta release of the 19th version, I guess. So I wanted to go here and show you guys how to download it, and then we'll go over some of the specs on what's updated with this new version. So there's two ways you can check to see whether you need to update it. The first way that I'll explain is going into DaVinci Resolve itself, and then you can just click the drop down on your top left, check for updates, and look at that, update available. DaVinci Resolve Studio 19.0 Beta 4. And I'm gonna skip that, and we'll also look at how we can download that just from their website. So here, are, here we are, blackmagicdesign.com, and if you go over to their support page, and scroll down to their latest downloads, they've got this whole page full of resources available to keep everything up to date. So you've got DaVinci Resolve Free and DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is like 300 bucks. Uh, and they each have different features, and so they each have their own version of this beta. So let's go ahead and download uh, the Studio Resolve, which is what I work with. And let's get the download only because I'm already registered. Okay, so I've got that download going. Let's go ahead and read the notes on what, has, what all is new in this version 19.4. Okay, so we've got updates to the cut page, your replay workflows, the neural engines, which take advantage of AI, the edit page, uh, the media page, the color page, the fusion page. There's updates to their Resolve built-in effects. There's result, <laughs> updates to their Fairlight page, which has to do with all of their audio tools. They have updates to all their codecs, scripting, and then a bunch of general updates as well. We recommend a full project library backup as well as individual project backups before opening projects in 19.0. So this should go without saying, you guys, anytime that you're gonna update the program that you used to edit with where all your projects are stored, you're gonna wanna back up any of those projects that you haven't backed up yet. So one of the new features within the color page that I wanna check out with this update is the film look creator node, which has been updated or effect. And so I want to compare that to what I'm used to, because I've been using that node quite a bit or that effect quite a bit. It's pretty handy. And I really do quite look, uh, quite like the look that it gives you. And well, the great thing about the new version is that you have more control over which features are actually going to be on or off. So that's always nice. Okay, 19.0 B, install. Okay, here you go, you guys. <clears throat> All right, we are extracting. Maybe I'll speed part of this up for the video. Yes. Okay, Black Magic Raw. I'm just going to. Go ahead and install everything here. Then we'll jump in, take a look at it, and hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys to see if you're curious at all about how to do these updates or download, whatever. Okay, so a normal installation method, just make sure you're choosing the proper location on where you actually want to install it from. And this is where you should have your cup of coffee. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and restart the computer now. That's fine. Okay, so it looks pretty simple, you guys. Everything looks like it's working. And that's it on how you do your update and install. So if you have any trouble on this, feel free to leave a comment or um, anything like that. 